Peace world, welcome to another interview. My name is Yafeth, aka YGT Records. I got some don't 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 tell nobody guys, even though you know this is gonna be on the internet, but I've been really looking forward to talking to you too. I've been really anticipating this one, but I got Free Mind and I got Brandon Isaac with me here. How you guys doing today, man? Doing good, I'm, man. I'm blessed, man. Happy to be Absolutely. here. Appreciate Absolutely, you. Absolutely, bro. Man, Abs- appreciate you, bro. Absolutely, man. Now, you two have recently released. I'm pretty sure this is familiar right here. Uh-huh. The North Star. Now, I don't know who signed this, but uh, but thank you for doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I signed Brandon. it. Yeah. You did. I, yeah, yeah, I had yeah. a feeling you did. I had a feeling. Well, 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 thank you for signing it. This is definitely mm-hmm. an excellent album. Now, I'm not, I'm not just saying this because you guys are here. I truly, I truly think this is one of the best hip hop albums this year. A lot, a lot of great stuff has come out. So you know that's that's you know pretty hefty thing to say, but I truly believe this is a really excellent piece of work, and I'm I'm, I'm really happy that now I'm here to talk to you guys. I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. So happy to be here. So let's just let's just start with um, how you two met. Uh, go ahead, Free Mind. <laughs> well, you know we 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 started uh, building a relationship online on Instagram. Uh, we started following each other. You know what I'm saying, and um, he got hip to my music. You know, he hit me up. He was trying to get some tracks. I gave him my price and everything. He was like, all right, I'm going to be back at you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I started I started paying attention to him more and more. because He started posting little video clips, you know what I'm saying, of his music and all that. I was like, damn, like, this dude is nice. You know what I'm saying? So I hit him back like, bro, you ain't even got to pay me for no beats. Like, let's let's get to it. Let's, oh. let's do something. You know what I mean? You were you were extra sure that he was the one that like, like yeah. no payments or nothing. OK, that's 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 pretty dope. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah, man, definitely, man. I was hitting free mind up. I was like, yo, man, I, I need some of that. I need some of that work. And um, and that he had hit me with his price. And, and I actually, man, just to expand on the story, man, free mind ended up hitting me up. And then we ended up talking. And then, like, I was, like, so insecure with him hitting me up. I was like, man, this dude don't want to work with me, man. He hyping my head. And, like, you know, I, that that put it on the back burner for some while, for a while. Oh, and really? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But then I end up hitting him back again. Like, yo, like, you really want to work with me, man? Like, he was like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we tap back in, man. <laughs> How long of a gap was it? How long of a gap? Shit, man. It was like, it was a few, it was a few months, wasn't it? Damn. It was, well, probably yeah. a few weeks. Probably like a few weeks. Was it a few weeks? Was it a few weeks? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. About, okay. about a few weeks. Dang. Okay. Can you okay. imagine if you never hit him up, th- this would have never existed, man. Ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. yeah man. man. Yeah, ridiculous man, yeah. well um how so how old do you know brandon can you can you hear me oh yeah i was i be talking to free what do you say uh, i hear what you said how old do you know uh, how old am i yeah oh i thought you said how do you how do you know brandon oh yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um um i'm uh i'm 20 28 i'll be 29 uh november 13th oh nice you, you you're only a year older than uh, than, uh me Oh, oh so, really? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So, so how long have you been emceeing now? Um, I, I started fucking around, man, when I was about nine. Um, I've been on stage consistently since I was 18 doing stand-up comedy and, you know, in a little bit of music. But I just started taking it seriously probably about three or man, about five years ago. About five years ago, I started taking it seriously, like really putting my pen to the pad and really starting to trying to car- carve out some rhymes so about five years now you said you said stand-up comedy as well yeah 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 bro like that's that's really my number one man that's, oh that's, man that's my baby yeah man comedian yeah, that's man. that like how many like how many uh how many sets have you done for just like 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 comedy bits oh man i've i can i've lost count man i've 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 done a lot of a lot of a lot of sets man and um i'm actually in the uh process of right now where i'm trying to uh through through hip hop, I discovered my consciousness. So now I'm trying to put that in my in my comedy because my comedy before I was more of just a jester. I was just trying to be mm. silly just to get people to laugh. But now I'm starting oh, to put Jamie more Fox in my- ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, you are. Know, I'm trying to put that perspective in there, man. I'm trying to put that philosophy in there. I'm trying to trying to get my childish Gambino on, man. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. That's that's yeah. that's pretty cool. I would have never thought of that. If so, if it yeah, if it wasn't for MCN, do you think you would have pursued comedy or like what else do you think you'd be doing? Uh, um, 
I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really pursuing both, man. Like, I, I just took some time off, you know, because stand up's weird like that, man. It's not like hip hop, you know what I mean? It's just a little weird. Like, you have to, well, I guess you to make good music, you got to kind of live life, right? And that's the thing about stand up. You have to gain those experiences. You have to kind of take a take a break from it. And um, so I'm getting back to it. I want to pursue both. I want to combine both. I would like on the next album to put some stand up skits on the, <laughs> on the next album, man. That'd be dope. But uh. Yeah, man, I guess if it wasn't for none of this, man, like I, I probably like free say, man, I, I'd probably be a teacher or something, man. I'd probably be uh, teaching kids. And that's kind of what I do. I do a little bit of that. So, um, yeah, I'd probably be a teacher somewhere in the school, um, teaching like an art class or something, you know, something like that. OK, cool. How about you, Freeman? How did, how did it all begin for you? Well, for me, I started out in 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I think the very first time that I put pen to pad, was the year 2000. I was I was 14. It was my uh my eighth grade year going to my ninth grade year. And you know, I used to I used to be emceeing, man. And I I was actually pretty nice, you know what I'm saying? But I think like uh probably like around maybe 10th grade is when I got to the production. And man, I I haven't looked back since, you know what I'm saying? Like I've been I started out on the keyboard and then I went to just using the computer program and I never I never looked back. Awesome. So, like, if it wasn't for this, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, it's, you know, this this right here kind of saved my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gave me it gave me an outlet. It gave me something to do. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like I can I can save what I would be doing and, and I probably would be doing it. But at the same time, I know where I would be if I wasn't doing it. So I would like to mm -hmm. really speak to that. Like I, I know where I would be if I wasn't doing it. I'll be dead in jail, like without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where I would be. What I what I would like to do outside of this is, you know what I mean? Like open up some businesses, you know what I'm saying? Open up a few stores, get, be an investor, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much just be an entrepreneur, work for myself, you know what I'm saying? Be a mentor, things like that. Like do gang intervention, financial literacy, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Youth development. Well, other than that, shit. I don't, I don't know what I'd be doing if it wasn't if it wasn't that. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, everything happens for a reason. Both of you guys are are doing your thing now, so that's definitely a beautiful thing. Um, right. Right. Now, appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, so for for someone like me, you know, I'm a I'm super biased. I'm a I'm a beats guy. So typically, people like like Free Mind, they get the most attention from me. But okay. on this on this album, I I, I really got to say because like typically it'll be like you know beats are up here, MC might 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 be here sometimes beats and mc same thing so like it's a, it's a good mesh sometimes mc is kind of overpowering the beats you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you guys i think are a really really good match for each other nothing was overpowering at all like i was i was just enjoying everything about it so for you brandon i want to ask because uh, like like you're quickly becoming somebody who i want to pay much closer attention to because your rhyming ability is really special like what is that, what it what is your um what is your writing process like oh man honestly um well for this particular project you know it was uh it was free just uh you know throwing me concepts you know a lot a lot of the titles of the songs man he he threw me concepts he told me like you know hey man i got this idea for this song called every great dream let me sing you this beat and he'll kind of just throw some ideas at me and then just in our conversations like we have certain conversations I, i'll take notes down just about what we talked about but uh normally my process is man my writing process and I, I steal. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good thief. I uh, just like how dudes, how a producer sample. I, I steal, man. I, um, mm -hmm. you know, t there's a dude named, it's a poet named T.S. Eliot. He once said that, uh, he said, uh, mature poets steal and immature poets imitate. Mm -hmm. And um, so what I do is like, if I'm watching a movie and it make me feel something or, or it's a quote in the movie, I write it down. If it's something I'm reading the book, I write it down. Um, anything like I'm, I'm in a conversation with somebody, I write it down. If I see a painting at the museum, I, I write the thought down. And then um, when when I get a beat, I go back to my notes and um, I just kind of just take from my notes. And I'm like, OK, I take I take something from it. I steal from it. And I just add my little flavor onto it and kind of make it my own sauce. So that's my process. Do You carry a notepad with you everywhere you go. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much, man. I carry my notebook everywhere, a little small notebook. I like to journal too. So sometimes mm. I just journal. And then sometimes I put something in my phone or 
I put my my uh, I use my voice record as well. So oh, yeah, cool. man, always going, always writing. That's dope. That's dope. Have you ever recorded anything? And you know, you know, of course, in that moment, you might you might be like, yeah, this is it. And then ever gone back yeah. to it afterwards and, and say, man, I could I could have tweaked it a little a little bit better. Um, not 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 so much, man. Like usually, um, um you know, it, that's usually during the process. Like if if I if if it ain't hitting, I ain't I ain't putting that shit out. Like you know what I mean? If I ain't feeling it, man, you can ask free. We got about three or four songs that you ain't heard. It ain't on the album. Like you know what I mean? Just we just like nah, that ain't our best. Like you know where we just like it ain't it. You know so um. You know, everything that I put out into the world, I'm I'm usually pretty much I'm usually pretty much happy with it. You know, good. For the most part. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Free mind. Do you do you think it could be something you made or maybe something somebody else made? Do you like? Could you name a song that you think represents Free Mind? Um, you ever heard Aeson Jones or Raekwon? Raekwon, yeah. Aeson Jones. That that's that that beat. Jay Dilla made that beat. That beat was actually on one of his beat tapes. Uh, uh, Jay loves Japan, I think, or is it Japan loves Jay? I think it's Jay, Jay loves, loves yeah, Japan. Yeah, Jay loves Japan. Bro, that beat. Uh, it's it's called uh, the original name of the beat is called uh, is it Love God or God is Love or something something like that. I think that that's a clear representation of who I am. That beat is just so soulful. So much pain in it. It's so much soul in it, you know what I'm saying? It's so much spirit in it. It's so much feeling in it. It's so much life in it. It's so much just the abundance of anything you can think of. It's in that beat, and that represents me like to the fullest because that's what I always strive to do. Is make you make you feel something. Uh, Word up, dope man. How about how about you, Brandon? Same question. Um, a, a beat. Uh, then, uh, like just like any song you made or just other other song? artists, yeah, that represents you. It represents me. Um, but the song that made me fall in love with hip hop is is A Z, uh, rather unique. Um, when I first heard that, I was like, yeah, that's it, that's me. You know, I I, I love that song. We was already molded in people's minds as Mulianis. Now we more fucked up with a mayor named Giuliani. You could try to mm -hmm. blind me, analyze, but can't define me. My mind's divine, heavily entwined with Gandhi. When I first heard that. I said, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. that's, I, that's what I want to do. So the AZ, AZ is rather unique, man. That's that, that that's that's my shit, man. That, that's what that's, that, that, that that's that do or die right there. Yeah, do oh, or yeah. die. Yeah, that first album. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, do or die. Even for me, that that still stays in my rotation. That's, I, I love that yeah, album. Facts, facts, facts. Whole happy Jackie and. I, man, this, this, this is a straight play through, man. Yeah, you know for I mean? real, man. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So you 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 mentioned AZ, Brandon. Is that is that somebody who you would like regard or, or or keep in high regards as somebody you come back to often? Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah, definitely AZ. Um, I, you know what? And I'm a Nas fan. I love Nas, but I just I just felt like Nas got got that uh he got that coaching, and you know he he had a he had a squad behind him, and AZ really didn't have that. He didn't really get that love, you know what I'm saying? Like he he was like a he was like he was like like if Jordan would have got sent to the G League or something, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know what I mean? That's kind of how it was, you know what I mean? I agree. So, I agree with that. That's that's a yeah. that's a good point. I actually never heard that perspective. That's a really good point. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. So yeah, AZ is who I look up to definitely. So, uh, free mind as a as a producer. Is there is there like are you are you open to to really anything or is there like a certain kind of sound you prefer to stick to? I'm a I'm a I'm a soul dude. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that got soul in it, anything that give you that feeling, I'm going with it. It could be pots and pans. If it, <laughs> if it you know what I'm saying? Like if it if it give you that soul, that's what I want. Like if I were to ever go into the record store, which I do a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like I go right to the soul section. I don't experiment with nothing. Like I'm not open to nothing else, like but soul, because I got some, I got, a, I got something I want to say, and I say it sonically. I don't say it with my words. I say it with the sounds. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get that soul feeling, like because that soul is like, you can do everything with that soul, man. That soul is that's the essence of life. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that, right that's that, that's that, that's that, mm, that's that it factor. You know what I'm saying? Like when you think about it, man, you put somebody on them soul beats, man, they sound way different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? like, 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 people always want to go with the grimy beats now. 
You know what I'm saying? But bro, that soul is everything, man. Like, like I done, I done, I done, I done made MCs. You know what I'm saying? By putting them on them soul beats, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, put them on them soul beats, man. I'm telling you, bro, that it's different when you want them soul beats, bro. It's way different. When the kick drums hitting and them, them, them soul samples coming in, it's way different. Way yeah, different. Where, where it up. That might be why I like I like Free Minds so much because I'm such a sucker for soul sample production or just anything like anything that really moves you. Because like even when you listen to soul music, like sometimes you can't really explain it. It just it, it just does something yeah. to you, you know? It it, yeah, it really yeah, does. Like um yeah, so Free Mind, you've you've also uh I'm pretty sure you have produced or at least have a beat on uh one of West Side Guns albums, right? Uh Hitler, where's yeah. where's uh or mess, I forget which one, but how did that happen? Uh, six. Or six? Okay, Hitler, cool. Yeah, Hitler worth her man six. Um, that's crazy how that whole thing happened, man. Yeah, I want to hear um, that story. <laughs> this was this was in sometime in 2018. Um, I posted a beat on, on Instagram, and somebody had um somebody tagged Westside Gun in it. Like somebody tagged, like put his name in the comments, tagged him, and next thing you know, he jumped in my DM like, bro, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I ain't like, bro, I'm just, I still got the screenshots to this day, bro. Because, like, like that was so major for me because at that moment, I was trying to, I was trying to, like, put my team in position. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the MCs I was working with at that time and, and, and the production team I had. So I felt like that would be perfect to get, to get my name out there. That way people can see who's attached to me and who I'm attached to. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, but yeah, anyway, like, he jumped in my DM, man. He was like, bro, I haven't heard nothing that made me feel like this in, in like 10, 15 years, bro. He was like, bro, we got to work. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you ready to work? I'm like, man, I'm, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm going to make sure the world hear this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what he told me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a few months passed. I, I sent him some beats, but he never really used those beats. And uh, we, we started following each other and whatnot. And uh, I posted another beat, like probably like four or five months later, he saw that beat. He jumped in my DM, like, that's the one. That's the one on the album. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, all right. So he was like, send that. I sent it to him, and the rest is history. That's wow. That, that is super dope. Yeah, that's that's major, yeah, too, yeah. to get to get gun, especially nowadays. That's super major. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, Absolutely. man. It is major. It is Absolutely. Major. Got, and I didn't, even, I didn't even... I didn't... Man, like, I didn't even... I didn't even... I didn't even go looking for it. You know what I'm saying? He came to me. You feel me? Yeah, that's dope, man. man I, I ain't even, I ain't even go looking for it, bro. Like he came to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, yeah, I, I must be doing something right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely, Hell yeah, man. bro. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Man. Who, who else have you worked with? Be mine. Uh, I worked with a lot of uh hip hop heavyweights as far as underground. You know what I'm saying? Like, I worked with Verbal Kent, Recognize uh -huh. Ali, uh, Supreme Cerebral, Jamil Honesty, uh, Killy Shoe, Vinny Vendetta. Of course, Brandon, another heavyweight. Uh, it's too many Thank names, you bro. Like dot, dot com intelligence, um, Intel selector. Man, it's so many. It's so many. Free names, bro. <laughs> Free this this resume is looking really excellent so far. Everybody you name, excellent resume so far. Yes, man. Uh, oh, the great, bro. Uh, Den Rock. Um, man, bro, I, I'm, I'm forgetting names, bro. Uh, Michael Fire, um, man, I.E. Mo, um, bro, I, I'm just off the top of my head, bro. I, it's too many names of names to be honest with you. That's dope, man. It's, 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 it's way too many names of names. I'll be going on and on and on. Well, this this next question in in particular is for you, Brandon. Now, you know, uh, as a as a well, just in music period, like you know, music can be uh, in a way, you know, very educational for uh, very educational for people. You can learn a lot. You know, what I'm saying like they they, they would always say they would always say you know the message is is in the music. So absolutely for someone like you, um, like do you, do you feel a sense of responsibility sometimes in what you say in the music? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. That that's why that uh song Rap Heroics is like, you know, so like it means so much to me on the project. You know, especially when Free Mind sent me that idea and he, he explained it to me, I'm like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Cause I just felt like hip hop, you know, had a definitely a part in raising me, 
and teaching me certain principles and certain codes to live by. And I just always felt that, you know, that there's another kid right now, you know what I mean? Whether it be a kid, whether it be whoever, that just could use some guidance, could use something. And why not share my, why not be vulnerable and share that what I'm learning or what I'm going through or what I'm trying to fight through? Because, you know, a lot of us are like, we just don't share as much, you know right. what I mean? Our, our, our interior life, you know, we're like, we share so much of the external. Yeah. I got all this money. I got all these cars, you know what I mean? But um, I just thought it was always dope. You know, I thought we thought it was a, a responsibility for me to, to share what I'm feeling because I don't want to talk too much, but I just want to share this. There's a there's a quote I just read and it says all humans are machines, but not all machines are sentient. And the word sentient means uh, to be able to feel and to be able to perceive the world through emotion. And mm. so that quote stuck to me because it's like, yeah. A lot of us are humans and we are all programmed to do what we are here to do. But can't everybody, doesn't everybody have that ability to communicate their emotions or express themselves? So I feel like I have that gift. So why not share, you know, my emotions and, and share that? That is a responsibility. Like Spider-Man, nigga. Great, with great power comes great resp responsibility. Mm -hmm. you know Absolutely. I mean? yeah. You know Absolutely. I mean? so, so, yeah, man, definitely a duty, bro. Dope, man. Like, like, like a lot of a lot of MCs, and I, and I really do mean a lot. I consider a lot of MCs as a, as a educators, you know. And that doesn't necessarily mean you went to college and all that. It's just you know life. So, yeah, yeah. so when I when I when I say educator, like what, what like who do you think of? Oh, uh, on the MC tip, just just, or just whoever comes to mind. Oh, uh, who educated me was Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave Chappelle and Dick Gregory, um, those guys, man, those are the guys I've always looked up to. Those, those are those are my educators, man. Like, like Dick Gregory, Dave Chappelle, KRS One, um, just those type of people, man, who get the mic and they and, and they just speak truth. You know, it's like they're delivering something from another side. So education to me, man, is you know, like you said, it ain't you know, it ain't in the classroom where I'm learning about you know Christopher Columbus and bullshit, you know that bullshit. It, you know what I mean? It's it's the education of life, you know, um, how, how to navigate this shit, man. So those are some educators that help me navigate. So uh, a similar question for you, Free Mind, as far as uh, a sense of responsibility, because like, you know, you're you're a producer, so it's a little bit different for you. But do you do you do you feel a sense of responsibility as to who gets, gets a hand on your stuff? Yeah, absolutely. You know, when I um, when I first when I first got to this this underground music scene, uh, you know, I was I was I was handing out free beats, bro. I was just dishing them out to whoever because I was just trying to trying to trying to trying to get myself where I needed to be and get my crew where we need to be, where I feel we should be. You know what I'm saying? So like I was I was making a lot of music that I wasn't really proud of. Like I don't really publicly talk about it, but a lot of that music, bro, I'm not even proud of, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because number one, I wasn't really there to to be a part of the recording process and to produce somebody. And just number two is just it it didn't come out right. People will be rapping over the hook. You know what I'm saying? Like like they <laughs> they verses they verses will be out of whack. You know what I'm saying? Like because there like there's a method to my madness. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like nobody was following my method, and I and I and I and I feel like I was laying in the blueprint. But everybody was everybody was doing what they wanted to do, and it just wasn't coming out good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I told myself, man, I'm not doing that no more. I'm going to be very selective with who I choose to work with. You know what I'm saying? Because I pick and choose who I want to work with. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like to, to truth be told, you can't even really throw me no money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To like to, to to do something that I'm not that I'm not proud of. Like I don't care about the money. I don't care about none of that. Money easy to get. That shit not hard to get, bro. If you apply yourself, see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. you know, I, I answer answer your question briefly and without talking too much. Yeah, I definitely feel a sense of like, you know what I'm saying, responsibility and who can rap on my shit or who I build relationships with and who I give my energy to, period. Absolutely, yeah. man. So like this this will go to both of you. I'll I'll start with uh with Brandon first. So you know, music music is very therapeutic for, for uh, people. You know, it can it, it can be very therapeutic, but I've always thought it's the most therapeutic for you guys because you you actually make it, especially for the mm -hmm. MC because you're you're speaking a lot of just what's in you. Mm -hmm. So, 
like how does that like how how do those emotions just really kind of go through you when you're just writing like writing rhymes or even just speaking them out and just making it real? Um, and uh, when it's happening, it's it it just happens, you know. Um, it, it's really just indescribable. Um, it it feels it feels good, but um, it, it just it's like one of those things. It's like riding a bike or or driving a car, you know, it's just one of those things. I think what really is therapeutic for me is when it's done and I can listen to myself and I can hear what I was going through. And that and that album or whatever the project was helps me get through whatever I'm expressing on the on the project. You know what I'm saying? So once I'm able to listen to it and sit back and look at the art and look and, and look at it, because I think when I'm in it, it's like I'm still working through the emotions. I'm still you know, so I guess that is the therapy, um, but I, I truly am able to heal and feel good once once it's done and I can like just soak it and absorb it. Um, so, yeah. Even even for you, Free Mind, because, you know, yours is yours is different. You know, you don't you don't speak through words. You speak through sounds because, you, you you know, you make you make the beats just like with soul music. You can't always explain it. It's just it's just doing something for you. So mm-hmm. when you like for you, when you're actually in that moment and just in the, in that mode, like what's going on for you? Well, you know, people have a have this notion that uh, producers and beat makers just slap sounds together. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't just slap sounds together. Like, we're we're talking. At least for me, just speak for myself. Like, I'm I'm talking on those beats from the from the from the rhythm of the drums to the drum selection to the sample I choose to use to what part of the sample I use. I always use the part of the sample that talks to me. And then I talk back once I utilize the, the elements that I'm going to use. You see what I'm saying? So it's like um, the, the the mode I'm in, like the 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 message I'm trying to get out, like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling something. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like when, I, when, I, when I'm in a mode and making beats, I'm not just, I'm not just doing something just to be doing it. Like I'm really trying to say something. That's why like I come with concepts. Because like this is what I would rap and say over these beats, you know what I'm saying? Like this is what I, because when I'm making beats, I'm actually rapping to myself, making this beats, and I'm visualizing mm. who I'm going to give it to, and I'm visualizing what they're going to say, like 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 how RZA was. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen that uh, the Hulu stuff with uh, I with, with the, the Wu Tang yeah. yeah, man, yeah, like it, yeah. bro, I I saw myself in mm-hmm. RZA. How he put things together, how he was making mm-hmm. beats for certain people, how he was mm-hmm. giving people concepts and names and all that. Like, like people mm-hmm. don't understand that pro- producers and beat makers are visionaries. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like, like we we see things, bro. And our whole mm-hmm. job is to is to is to get the MC to to see what we see. That way they can they 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 could put it on paper and put it into into translation for us. You know what I'm saying? Because we speaking through sound, so I'm trying to tap into something in you and get you to see what I'm seeing that way you can deliver it for me. That, yeah, that's I why, that's why that. yeah. like, like, like that's how me and Brandon were able to do it. Like I, w- I was able to come to him and, and bring him something and he saw it. He got it right away. He tapped into it. That's why it came out the way it came out. Like he's speaking for me. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But he's also speaking his true authentic self as well. That's why it came out so beautifully like that. So yeah, like when I'm when I'm whenever I'm in that mode, like that's always what I'm thinking. I'm just being a vision visionary, and you know what I'm saying. I'm just putting my God given talents to work. That's amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Like that's a that's a great perspective that that you know some people may not think about or or of course even consider. So even mm-hmm. for someone like you, Free Mind, like you know, I'm sure you've all heard uh, the the criticism towards you know sample based music. You know, saying oh it's lazy yeah. or it's whatever. I think that's disrespectful, honestly, and it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, but is. you know, I I, I, want, I want to hear your take for your mind. Like, what do you think about that? You know, people. It just goes to show <laughs> you how ignorant how ignorant people are. Because if yeah. because if you can if you could take, see, those people don't understand and don't appreciate the music that's being sampled. Because if you listen to the music that's being sampled, and then you listen to what being created out of that music that's being sampled you would understand why this piece of art is so beautiful because it's not only just an art, it's a science too. You know what I'm saying? Like how you taking, you taking different elements of a song and, cre- and recreating something and making it your own. 
Like that's not easy to do. Right. Because yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I make it look easy. But when I first mm-hmm. when I first started this, bro, bro, I was like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I was I was on YouTube going through all kind of little different little, okay, how do you do this? And like, bro, it's it's not as easy as it looks, you know what I'm saying? And the and the grandmasters, they they make it look easy, like Jay Dilla and Ninth and all them, they make it look easy, bro. But it's not easy, man. That's not easy to just sample and take something that somebody else did and to isolate certain things and filter bases. And, bro, that takes skill, man. Like, that's a real skill. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I believe sampling is a is a real art that definitely doesn't get the kind of respect that it deserves. Even even uh, as far as, like, MCs go, I don't, I don't think MCs get any respect for it. The real work that they're doing like i said i think they are educators i think they are therapists there are, there are a lot of different professions mm-hmm. all in one mm-hmm. so that's what yeah. ma- that's what makes the music so great and you can definitely get that if you listen to this album right here ah, so appreciate that, <laughs> so mm-hmm. uh you know like what like with anybody whether it's music or whatever er- everybody got you know ups and downs so mm-hmm. i want to know what your guys' why is because definitely there's days where you know you're not you're not feeling too hot so what keeps you going Ooh, go ahead, man. Um, uh, keeps me going. Well, what keeps me going, of course, man, um, you know, just I feel like it's my duty and my, um, you know, just as uh, far as this, uh, me knowing my roots and where I come from. Uh, my great grandfather um, uh, was um, was a was a traveling preacher. So he would go from city to city. And uh, this was like in the thirties, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so, you know, this is way back. And um, he would go from city to city and preach, preach that word, man. And um, when I found that out, you know, I just was like, yo, like this is in my blood to go just to speak, you know? Um, so that's a why um, just my family in general, um, you know, just trying to uh, be something that my siblings can aspire to be. Um, I'm, I'm the big brother, so I have all younger siblings. So uh, I want to inspire them to do take a different path. You know, if they want to be an actor or if they want to do ballet, you know, I want them to be inspired to to do different things and not just take the black and white path. Right. Um, and uh, and then I guess my best friend, man, my best friend, I promised him that I would make music for him um, and he was murdered. And um, I, I've always told him I was going to do it. And, you know, that that's a why, you know, I keep making music for him because I know he would love to be here in the booth with me, man. So um, that's 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 the definitely one of the main ones, you know. So, yeah. man. Same question for you, for your mind. What keeps you going, man? Why do you do what, what, what you do? I, mean, I just, you know, when I when I decided to do this, man. At the time when I like really decided I was gonna take this serious, like 2010, around that time when my when my when my uh when my 11 year old when he was a baby, you know what I'm saying? Like I was I was I was going through it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the the world around me was changing. I just came home. You know what I'm saying? A couple of years prior, I was still trying to find my way in the world as a man. You know what I'm saying? Like I was trying to right my wrongs and and and, and just do things the right way. So like my why is just I want my people to be proud of me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I want to be proud of me and to say, like, you, you, you got it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it's all said and done, I think that's that's what it's going to be. Like, he did it right. He finally got it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he he, he did the right thing. Like, he, he not in the streets no more. He not fucking up no more. He not doing bullshit. He not doing this. He not, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he got it right. right. Like, I want my people to be proud of me. And, and my grandmother told me, you know what I'm saying? She just recently passed. She told me, though. Before she passed, she said, I'm, I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, she told me so. You know, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If, if, if that's all I get, if my people, my mama and my dad in heaven, you know what I'm saying, my children, to say I'm proud of you, I'm okay with that. That's 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 my wealth right there. Yeah. 